So recently when I received my crossfire module here was that there was no clear instructions on how to s properly set up your crossfire and you would actually want to go into the Facebook groups and watch or look at different posts to see what people has said and done and stuff and I also noticed that no one really said an anything about how to mount the antennas or they actually did but not really it's kind of ish it's uh, the black part of the antenna here if you can see it actually it's kind of hard to see but the black part of the antenna that's not polarized in, in the inside is actually just connected to the ground ground uh, shielding and it doesn't really act like an antenna so I just put it right here and he Trappy actually said in the FPV live, live stream that mounting the polarized part of the antenna here would be best and it should also be 180 degrees or just a straight line for these antennas and the the best possible spot to mount it would be like this but you would have trouble to land so that's not gonna be any point and he's just saying that you have a little bit better signal with this as a straight line instead of doing this 90 degree stuff but it, it still works good I also figured that it would be it's actually stupid to mount it like this because then you have a dead spot right here and you're turning around you know what I mean right so you're turning around and your antenna is actually this is just pointing at the antenna like this so it's actually hard to get something real but if you're holding the transmitter like this the antenna polarization will go I can just bend it the polarization would go like this in this direction and if you have the antenna pointed like this they will match up and they will have good reception as, of, as I understand and I also have great reception so that works for me yeah so first you wanna bind your crossfire with your quad RSSI critical. boom so I have the RSSI this is just set up already so this shows it's just most convenient for me so I can see how many milliwatts my crossfire is on and this is the e-link quality now it's on 100% because I'm right beside it and it should be 100% so that's that's the good thing about this now the more, more advanced part of this is not kind of hard but it's still something that you need to do you would want to go into I, I already discovered the sensors but you would want to go into discover new sensors and just delete all the sensors here yeah so discover new sensors and it will pop up with the oh I, I forgot to mention that you would need to have the telemetry wire wired to the same UART that your that your control wire or whatever wire is connected to the UART it also should be a non-inverted UART so it's gonna work with the receiver because this is a uninverted protocol so here you can see all the all the callouts and stuff and what they're doing so this critical alarm and low alarm I figured that if I put it to 70 and 75 it would work good but not that good anyways so you would put it to zero You cannot even put it to zero, but I'm just gonna plug up my quad because I have this ESC beaver that, that goes off like at one minute. So I'm just gonna put them to as low as they can because the crossfire will, will actually not go this low anyways. Sensor lost. Sensor lost. Boom. Okay, so we cannot go lower than 12 and 15 and that's also okay because you the crossfire will not even go down there. So here, on special functions, 
we're gonna go down to or we actually want to go here to the logical switches and you would want to set up everything like I've done here so this shows and this will give you a warning when your RSSI is at 80% and when it's at 70% that works great for me and yeah so you would want to go out here press page again and I just want to focus my camera so I press page go down to or actually you want to go here find out what's what LO1 and LO2 so press page go down here find LO1 go all the way through everything to find LO1 it was boom okay so now we would want to play make it play something so you would play value and you would you would find I'm just gonna go all the way through everything and you would want it to play the LO1 it needs to play RQLI so I'm gonna make LO1 play RQLI oh. RQLI not minus not plus just RQLI or LY, it is. It doesn't matter. So 100%. now we want to find LO2. Oh, LO2 here. So play value, RQLI. It's not RQLI. It needs to be RFMD. RFMD here. So now your crossfire would be set up correctly so your crossfire is set up correct now that's how you would want to set up your crossfire and in case you missed uh, and if you don't know how to do anything you would want to go here execute this I'm just gonna plug in my quad again 50%. okay so just hold this down press execute you're in here. This just shows you the flight controller that I have in because I have telemetry. So, oh, it's actually really messed up because if I press up, it's it's going down. Here, it's loading the receiver. I have this on 12 channel mode. Telemetry on. Fail safe mode to cut is really important because that way your quad will not fly away. RC by Mavlink off because we we're not having any time any type of GPS and, and or something. So the S bus rate I've just put it to 150 hertz because I heard someone say something about it. I don't know, but you can go to 50 hertz and 150 hertz. Here you would want to choose instead of the standard instead of PPM or the default you would want to find Crossfire TX and on output 2 it will automatically go to crossfire rx now on the channel 12 I think it, you would need to, to to pick LQ to link quality so that way in your OSD on beta flight you would be able to see which kind of or which RSSI you're on most likely not important but if you're doing some doing some long range it's really nice to have so now I'm just gonna change over to beta flight to show you how that works I am con uh, I'm connected to the beta flight configurator to show you how to set up the crossfire in the beta in beta flight on in this case you you would not really need to do anything here just this UR6 is my serial RX where I have my crossfire connected Bear in mind that your telemetry wire actually needs to go to the same UART as the same UART as the uh, uh, control wire or what you want to call it. So this is just what I'm running. 
nothing else than the telemetry here is important and you also if you want the fast crossfire pro protocol you would want to choose crossfire or C CRSF so when that's done save and reboot connect you could go into receiver into the receiver tab check if everything's working correctly it's doing or yeah it's everything is correct so if you did the if you did the right thing or the thing that I did to put or to put a link quality in channel 12 you would find it on the aux auxiliary 8 because that auxiliary 8 is channel 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 boom so actually you can see that the it will go all the way down to 100, 100, uh, 1100 it will go down when you turn off your transmitter or if you fail safe so you can see that it went up to 2000 again in this case I'm on the new beta flight so in your case I think that you would want to choose channel 12 in my case I choose auxiliary 8 because it says auxiliary 8 but in the old beta flight you need to you need to you need to choose channel 12 you can also just turn off your transmitter to see which one goes down to 1100 it's the easiest thing just choose that channel and if you did if you did everything correct you would see that the RSSI and your if your crossfire is right beside you or and the quad it would be at 100% I did correctly so it's at 100% and when I turn it off it's gonna go all the way down to 12% so it actually works great for me and I figured that that's what you want to do thank you for watching